the manifest file defines the extension, the extension name, version, short description, an options page, and a browser action, small icon that when the user press a pop-up window is displayed and it shows the content of a load.html, a simple HTML file. The options page is configuration.html. It is another file within the folder of our extension. If we check configuration.html, we can find the definition for two functions that save data to the local storage. Here we can also see a select element that allows the user to select his preferred country and press save. When pressing save, um, the save data function is invoked and the data is saved to the local storage. On the bottom, we display um, a short message saying that the data saved successfully. Here we have a span element that its ID is MSG so we can display a very specific message here within this element. The hello.html when it is rendered and displayed on screen this function is invoke and this function simply access the local storage and get the preferred country the user has selected when browsing the configuration.html file a file we set as an options page now um, let's reload this extension here you can see the options link this link is displayed because we set an options page and when I press this link I get to see this HTML file and here I can select the preferred country press save get a short message saying it was saved successfully and now when I press the icon, this is the um, browser action we define over here. So when I press that icon, I will get to see the hello.html file. And as you can see, the greeting is in according to the selected country. And there is no need to remain on this options page. We can go to any other page. Um, the local storage remains unchanged so that if I press this icon one more time, I get to see the same message, Hello Canada.